Okay guys, so now I also want to let the user to choose the important to do's so we can put it at the top for him. So let's go ahead and do this. So we go to the code editor and I'm going to close this terminal for now. So we'll go to the to do item component and inside this div of the icons container, I'm just going to have some text. So for example, a paragraph and I'll just put an explanation mark in there like that. And uh, Actually, I'm gonna wrap this inside a button. So we don't really need a paragraph anymore. So just put an explanation mark in there. And uh, I'm gonna give this button some styling from app.css. So we're gonna give it a class name, and this would be important button. It doesn't look that good, but it looks better than the old one. So uh, when we click on this button, we wanna change this to do to important, and we'll set it at the top of all, every to do. So to do this we need to go to the app.js component and over here we'll make a new arrow function and we'll call this important to do so and this is equal to an arrow function and uh, this arrow function will take the id of that to do and uh, we're basically going to do the same thing as the complete to do so we're going to make a new array called updated to do's and this array is going to equal to the original to do's map over them we're going to receive each to do arrow function and we're going to check if the to do id is equal to the id that we have received then we will basically do to do dot important is equal to not to do dot important so this would check if it's false then it will make it true if it's true then it will make it false and uh, after that, we need to return the to-do. Sorry, to-do. Also, uh, this important property, I want to add it to when we are adding a to-do. So over here in the to-do object, in the add to-do function, we want to also add a to-do property, uh, important property, sorry. And originally, it's going to be set to false. Okay, so we need to also pass in this important to-do function to the to-do item component, just like we did with the remove to-do and the complete to-do. So let's go ahead and do this. So important to do is equal to important to do. And let's go to the to do item and we are receiving it as props and we'll do it over here. Important to do. Uh, and now when the user clicks on this important button, we want to call this function the important to do function. So to do this, we'll do on click and we'll call a arrow function. And this error function would call uh, the function the important to do function. So important to do, and uh, we're passing the to, we're passing the to do dot id. Let's save this, and uh, now it should be working, but uh, we're not going to see any difference. So I'm going to check if the if the to do is important. Then I'm going to change the color of it to, for example, orange. So inside this div, so the main div, I want to change the background color for that. So we'll do style equals. And over here we'll check to do dot important. So this is checking if it's true or false. If it's true, then we'll do this. So background is equal to orange. Otherwise, we'll just return an empty object. So if the important is true, then we're going to return this object, which has some styling for the background color. And otherwise, so we'll put a colon for otherwise. If so, if it's false, basically, then we'll just return an empty object. So uh, let's save this and let's see if this is working. So let's add a couple of to-dos. And now if I click on this button, it's not working. Uh, so the issue is basically if we go to app.js and uh, if we go to important to-do, over here after we are fixing up the updated to-dos, or basically after the, uh, updating the to-do, we need to set the to-dos after that. So set to-dos, updated to-dos. So the set to do is in the state, so this state, we need to change that. So save this. As you can see now, this is orange. And if I do this, this is also orange. But now, if I add another to do, this is in the middle. This to do is in the middle. I want to put it at the top and also make it orange. So we need to sort the to do's based on if it's important or not. So let's do this. So over here, when we are doing to do's dot map. Okay, so to do this. So we need to sort the array 
when the important to do function is called because otherwise the important is always going to be false so we don't need to sort resort the array because the important is false for every to do unless the important to do function is called then that means the important property of one of the to do's is going to change which means the array needs to be sorted again so to sort the array by the important property if it's true or false we need to do updated to do's is equal to updated to do's dot sort so we're going to use the javascript sort method and uh, this would give us two to do's so a and b and we're going to compare them so a and b and uh, which is going to be an error function and we're going to do b dot important minus a dot important and this is going to check uh, if it's true or false which one is true which one's false and it will sort the array based on if it's true or false so let's save this and go to our application add some more to do's and now if i make sorry i think i need to refresh okay so add this to do add this to do now if i make this one important as you can see it goes to the top actually we need to put this uh sorting the to do's uh over here before we render before we turn anything because uh, if we add a to do then we are also sorting it again and we're going to put that to do before every all the to do's which is going to be an issue so let's actually do this so i'm going to copy this part up to here and delete the rest and over here we'll do let sorted to do's is equal to to do's small t save this and we need to change this to sorted to do's so now let's test it, so I have a to do here, another to do and another to do and now if I make this important, it goes to the top, if I add another to do, it does not go above it, great. So I hope you have enjoyed this class, if you like this class then uh, please check out my other ReactJS classes, I have many ReactJS classes, thank you. And uh, I can also make it unimportant just like we did over here, so we will do to do dot important equals not to do dot important so if it's true it will be false if it's false it would be true